Point, point, point. Yeah, teacher pop the test. I know I'm in a mess. And the dog ate all my homework last night. Riding low on my chair. She will know that I'm there. If I can hand it in tomorrow, it'll be alright. It's alright. Cause I'm saved by the point, 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 point. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's episode of The Point. I'm Nathaniel Finch, alongside Cody. De Cody? Cody, we're live. Get over here. Oh, we're live? Well, hello, everybody. Well, uh, thanks for tuning in. Want to hear a joke? Okay, Cody, easy, buddy. No, 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 really. I have a good joke for you. What do you call a dog with no legs? Cody, how does this pertain to today's episode of The Point? The very first AM episode, in which we'll be pimping a student's locker, we'll be interviewing two Weibo students in the Spill Your Guts, Fill Your Guts segment and playing Would You Rather to close it out. So, Cody, does your joke really add to the show? We will see. Here it is again. What do you call a dog with no legs? Cody, Go ahead, is... give it a crack. Cody, this is off topic. It doesn't matter, he won't come anyway. Cody, <laughs> well, everyone enjoy the show. So you want to be a player, but hinges they fly. You got to hit us up to get a pimped out locker. You got to pimp locker. Damn right. Locker. Hi. Have you ever wanted to see a regular locker be pimped out at a regular high school? Well, you can. Let's meet our... Oh, there she is now. Abby, we have a question for you. Yes. Oh, sorry. I may not recognize my face around these halls. I'm usually pimping out lockers at Southmont. Today we have Patrick Humber. Let's see how it goes. Oh! of uh, Pimp Your Locker, and uh, I pimped your locker, so if you'd like to check it out, you can. Pimp my locker? I, yeah. <laughs> you, I think you can hear it, yes. Uh, yep. <laughs> Just, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have some lights, speaker, some candy and some gum. Yeah, I'm going right now. <laughs> Potentially, yes. <laughs> yep. And we, you know, we got some carpet on the bottom. Yeah, you got some, uh, you got a chair just in case you get tired at school. Yep, if you just want to sit down during passing period, you can. Yep, you're welcome. Yeah. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how surprised were you? And do uh, you like it? Can the scale only go to 10? <laughs> you can keep going. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely at the top. I was not expecting any of it. And the lights are cool, too. That's a yeah, huge addition. <laughs> what do you have to say to your mom about volunteering you for this? Well, I should actually probably thank her because yeah. it's never been this clean yeah. in my entire life. Yes, <laughs> one thing that's your favorite. Also, sorry about doing this so late in the year because you're going to have to clean it out in a couple weeks. I, I have to clean it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. 
Not that you can really see it, but I really like that carpet and probably the lights that change too. Yes. It's probably, <laughs> the lights are probably my favorite actually, along with the speaker. That's right. not. Oh, it is yeah. right there. Right. Yeah, the speaker, the speaker, and the lights are probably my two favorite. Lockers. Do you want a pimped out locker like Patrick? If so, tweet us at Weebo RTV. <laughs> First episode of Spill Your Guts, Spill Your Guts. I'm your host, JC Walden. Today I'm with Andrew McTee and Jeff McClaskey. Okay, let's begin. What are some things you do in the locker room that the coach doesn't know about? What we do in the locker room that coach does not know about would be, I don't want to get anybody in trouble here, but we definitely uh, uh, make fun of each other pretty much 24-7. Mm -hmm. Is that good, Yes. There you go. Right. Uh, who do you think the best player on the team was? Um... um. Personally, I probably think Devin Weekly um, for showing leadership and also um, with everything he contributed to the team this year and being a role model for the younger kids. Who was your favorite coach and your least favorite coach and why? My favorite coach was easily uh, Ryan Baird, so shout out to him. Um, and my least favorite, I'd have to say Doc, just because I never talked to him. I believe Captain should be next year. Um, um, shoot. You can always crawl if you want to. I'm drawing. I can't. <laughs> um. <laughs> This one is speaking to me. I swear to God, it's the tune. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. It means it's good food. This is this a hot dog? It's a. So. What's the it's liquid? Four more, you're old school or Weibo, and why? Wow. <laughs> um, I liked winning, so I'm gonna have to say uh, Western Boone. That was a good one. Yes. If you wait, if you could get rid of either football or basketball, which one oh, and why? <laughs> Mm. That was kind of rough. Um, you know what? We'll make it interesting. I'll draw because I like both sports and <laughs> I like wow. both sports and I'm not going to say it because football we won state. Oh, here. But basketball is Indiana sports, so. Should have went to the state house. I would have rather went to a steakhouse myself, but since we went to the state house, I don't think you guys would have had that much fun, so I'm gonna say no. Right. <laughs> but if we win again, I say we go to a steakhouse and then the state house. <laughs> and we all go. 
Cheerleader, you would have had cut. Oh my god, why are we hitting you with little horn wounds? Um... They were all great gals. 10 out of 10. But I'll draw. T. I I love this. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh my god. No, I really don't hate me after this. Ew, okay. This is for you, cheer team. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> that was gross. That was really gross. Yeah, that was gross. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Thanks for coming and being part of my... Spill your guts, spill your guts. Oh, oh, this was the first Thank episode. You. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mata Burns, your host for Would You Rather. And here we have our first contestant. Sorry. All right, so let's get our question. All right, the question is, would you rather hug a stranger or hold their hands? Uh, hold their hands. Hold their hands. Would you rather never wash your hair or never wash your hands? Never wash my hands. Get a bad perm or shave your eyebrows? That's a tough one. I feel like this has uh, happened to me before, but I'd probably go with a bad perm because I just look bad with shaved eyebrows. Hi, we have a question for you. Would you rather be super late or super early? Super early, because I don't like to be the last one to walk into something and people stare at me. <laughs> Would you rather hug a stranger or hold their hands? I'd rather hug a stranger. Would you rather burn all your socks or never watch a movie again? Oh my gosh, they're both horrible. <laughs> I know. Um, It would be a big fire, but I would I would have to burn them. I, I couldn't give up a movie. Uh, yeah, I love movies too much. Even your like fancy ones. Yeah, I don't. I, mine are pretty low key today. You know, a little red, white, and blue. <laughs> Gray. Would you rather never teach math again or never recycle? I would rather never teach math again because the world would still be saved. All right. Thank you. Good morning, stars. Today is Wednesday, May 1st. Let's check today's headlines. Woman killed at Iron Man. We'll give you the latest. We have a new Mr. Weebo and weather update. Thanks for joining us, stars. I'm Hunter Harson, and our top story investigators in Crawfordsville are still trying to make sense of an accident that killed a 44 year old Fa Fountain County woman yesterday at the annual Iron Man race. 44 year old Catherine Cook was watching her son race when a tree fell onto her. There was a wind advisory in the area at the time. Officials think that the wind was the leading factor of her death causing the tree to fall. And now, Ben Wilkinson joins us with weather. All right, so today's temperature today is going to be, it's right now it's 54 degrees. We got some wind at 13 miles per hour right now. We got some 38.28 pressure, which I don't know what that means. All right, um, so this is a... Uh, <laughs> This is difficult. <laughs> Find Indiana. It's, it's, you all know where Indiana is. Um, that's our weather thing. Is this, this is, oh, today is Wednesday, and we have a high of 60, uh, 74 and a low of 61, and on some rain. Uh, <laughs> Thursday, we got a uh, high of 72 <laughs> over there, and a low of 48 with thunderstorms. And on Friday, we got a high of 64 and a low of 49 with cloudy skies.
That's all for weather. Now back to the news desk. Thanks, Benjamin. Now for the song of the day. If you guessed Wagon Wheel, you are correct. The classes who answered correctly are. That's all for today's broadcast. Thanks for joining us, stars. I'm Hunter Harson from all of us here at, at WBTV. Have a great day.